This video shows you how to create an art movement timeline from ancient Egypt to our path. First, let's create your own timeline book. There's two ways you can do it. First, with two sheets of A4 paper. Fold both of them in half. So you have then four sections, which you can tape together, either with masking tape or any type of tape you've got in the house. Cut the masking tape edges off with a pair of scissors and then you've got your timeline book. The second way to do it is take a long thin strip of paper and fold it in half once. Then fold it in half again. So when you open it up you'll have four sections. You're going to create a drawing in each one of those four sections. Art has changed a lot throughout history. Your booklet is going to show art from four different time periods. We've chosen four different time periods for you. Create one page for the following art movements. Ancient Egyptian art, Byzantine art, Cubism and Pop art. Let's look at some examples of how you might do this. Firstly you start out by sketching out your page. Think of each page like a poster. Add the title, Ancient Egyptian art and the date when this art movement occurred. You need to research each time period to find out what art looked like during that time. The artwork in ancient Egypt was linked closely with religion and also to show an idealised view of the world. They used hieroglyphics. These are small pictures or symbols that could be read just like our alphabet today. Once you've sketched out your drawing showing the style of the art movement, you can add different tones with your pencil or colouring pencil if you've got them. Remember if you're using colouring pencils to rub out the graphite underneath. And now you've finished your first page on Egyptian art. Yours can look like mine if you want to, or you can create your own. Now we're moving on to the 5th century, which is Byzantine art. Byzantine art was also linked to the Bible and religion. They also created mosaics and used illuminated letters, which is decoration around the first letter of a sentence or paragraph, just like I've done around the number 5 here. Make sure you use your pencil to add in the dark, mid and light tones. Here I'm using scribble art, like we did in class, to add tone to the beard. Make sure you've added dark, mid and light tones to the whole of your page, even if you're using colour pencils. And make sure you've also shown the characteristics of each art movement. And that's the first two pages of your art movement timeline complete. Next we're moving on to cubism, and again I want you to copy a piece of artwork from this time period. I've chosen one of Picasso's paintings called Woman in a Beret and Check Dress. Once I'd sketched out my drawing, I could then start to add the different colours. If you don't have colouring pencils, yours may look more like this, with the different tones of dark, mid and light. Cubism isn't always in colour, but it does often have geometric shapes. In this picture, I've tried to only use the primary colours and black. You can blend your primary colours in pencil the same as you would with paint. Once you finish your title, date and picture, you're finished. Now we're on to 1960, which is pop art and the last page of your book. You need to sketch in your title and then add colour or different tones. Here I'm adding orange bende dots on top of the title and adding shadows to make the word pop out of the page. The artwork I'm copying for this page is by Jasper Johns. A lot of the pop artists used to use a limited colour palette, often just the primary colours, but mixing them so that they blend together to make different shades of colour. In the final piece you can see all the different colours I was able to achieve just by using the primary colours and black. With the last two pages complete, it's time to see what our art timeline booklet looks like. Here's a finished booklet from ancient Egypt all the way to pop art. We can't wait to see your art timeline booklets.